I've set up the artillery of the uh, British contingent and uh, what I've tended to do is set it, when it's in the front line and if um, I've set it up unlimbered horse artillery I've tended to set up unlimbered because um, I find that's what they're they're going to be doing is you know sort of moving where they're needed now the, um, you can see the line here and there's some horse artillery there um, and some in reserves back here so sighted along already on the roads and there's a question about sighting this fellow because you can see if he was stri facing straight forward along the rest of the army his view is going to be blocked he could fire into that but not no further so the question is is he meant to be covering this road or would I face in this vertex is he covering anyone who comes through here and I decided that it's more likely for units to come through there quickly so if they're coming up through here there would be time to turn okay so now on to the cavalry so here's the cavalry set up um, so we've got infantry here cavalry uh, Netherlands Dutch cavalry British cavalry, more Dutch cavalry, mixed cavalry, cavalry here, and uh, those um, Brunswickers are infantry, a couple of cavalry and some reserves there, uh, light cavalry and light cavalry here, um, so no cavalry over on that side, so we have cavalry here and cavalry here. And there we have it. That is all of Wellington's Anglo-Allied forces set up. So um, we have some very strong elite British units here. Not set up in solid lines. They could um, go into extended line quite easily. Again, there we have a open line with. An, Another line behind.